Westfield will sell half its stake in six Florida shopping centres with the formation of a new joint venture. The agreement with O'Connor Group comprises of a series of transactions which will result in an investment portfolio of six Westfield regional malls. The O'Connor Group's investment will represent a 49.9% interest in the portfolio, which will have a total gross value of over $1.2 billion. US dollars. Westfield expects to realise $700 million in proceeds from the sale of the mall stakes to O'Connor Group. And the shares have responded quite positively to that today, up 23 cents or 2.1%. Let's bring in John Milroy from Macquarie Private Wealth in Sydney for a little bit more detail. As Brooke just made mention there, John, the market's certainly liking some of this news around Westfield today. Yeah, James, good afternoon. Well, certainly from our perspective, it's certainly in line with the strategy they have announced where they don't require to hold 100% of the, uh, the assets where that's not needed. Uh, certainly this uh, fits the bill for that, so the market not terribly surprised, but it's interesting in light of the fact that the price at which it was sold is the, uh, the book value as at uh, 31st December. market might be a little bit uh, concerned about that given there was wide expectations that you might get some appreciation in the price of some of those US assets as you get an improvement in the economy as well. Key thing, of course, is what they do with the money, the $700 million you mentioned. Uh, perhaps certainly going to help the, uh, the spectre of the buyback as well and whether they can do something better with the funds than having it uh, locked up in these types of properties. That's the key question for us. We've got an underperform on the stock, James. So uh, certainly while we expect them to recycle as capital, we're concerned about how they do, do better than holding the existing assets.